The images you're seeing haven't been created by any human, but they are the output of one of the most incredible AI models yet, Dolly 2. There's been really few times in my life where I've been completely blown away and also a bit scared by a new technology. I remember the first video call over the internet I made, or the first time I used Google Earth to look up my home. But there is something different about what I experienced on April 6, 2022. That is the day I first saw the creations of Dolly 2, the last iteration of artificial intelligence model Dolly. All these images did not exist. They've been generated by an artificial intelligence only taking a small phrase as input. As a nerd, the first reaction that I get when I see some new cool technology is to know how it works and see how this novelty came out to be. But this time, it was different. As I was looking at what the AI created, I was finding beauty. Some other images were funny and were making me smile. Some were interestingly weird. Some were creepy and unsettling. And after 15 minutes of scrolling to these photos, it struck me to think that these photographs have not been taken by anyone. The paintings haven't been painted by anyone. The silly colleges have not been composed in Photoshop by any human. In one moment they didn't exist, and in the next one they did. OpenAI is also the maker of GPT-3, which is one of the most famous general purpose language models out there. And GPT-3 can write stories, generate lists of YouTube video ideas, and write code on its own based on just a few lines of input. But this time it was different. It was not just Yes, this AI was working really well. Dolly 2 is able to create things that convey emotions. But why? Why is this particular AI model so striking? More than anything we've ever seen before. Writing was invented around 5000 years ago. Surely a long time, but our brains are hardwired from hundreds of thousands of years of evolution to perceive beauty or danger or novelty by images, by looking at things. And when we think of someone, we think of their face, not their name written on a piece of paper. And this is why the creations of Dolly 2 represent so much more than an evolution of text generative AI. They are visual images, something that we can understand at a deeper human level, and that clings to the deepest parts of our brains. You see, there are four layers in the mediums that we use to perceive the world, and the more we climb up the ladder, the more profound the experience we have with them. Writing and text is layer one. Then we have images and photographs and visuals, then video and moving images, and the fourth one is debatable, but I think it's presence, a multi-sensory immersive experience. And if this sounds familiar, it's because this is the exact evolution that computing had in the last 50 years. We started with the common line interface and text-based video games, then we moved to images, and common lines became graphical user interfaces. Today we have almost completely shifted to the third layer. Interfaces are based on animation and interaction, and for example in the last 10 years we've seen social media move from images to video, with TikTok and Stories being the biggest example. And all the excitement about the metaverse and virtual reality is nothing but us taking the first step into the fourth layer. AI has already conquered the first layer for some time now, and you don't need to take a look at GPT-3 to see this. Just look at smart autocompletes in Gmail, for example. AI is already not just analyzing content. It's been doing that for years, but it's generating new one. Up until today, the bleeding edge of AI applied to the image layer has been mostly focused on analysis, with image classifiers and many other useful applications such as detecting skin cancer. But it was never really able to crack pure creation. The first version of Dolly launched in January of 2021 and was able to generate 64 by 64 pixel images and with a cartoonish style. This is very cool, but it was still clearly a science experiment, a novelty that you wouldn't most likely use in the real world. And this is why Dolly 2 is so groundbreaking. Because it shows that the AI is now at the point where you can take the image layer by storm with creation. It can potentially churn out hundreds of millions of new images that did not exist the day before, and that we will happily hang in our living rooms, like on our Instagram feed, or have as a magazine cover. And the incredible thing is the speed at which it happened. It took over 40 years for the digital world to arrive at the point where we are today, layer 3. And AI has already reached the ability to conquer creation in the image layer in a matter of 10 to 15 years since the AI boom around 2010. And some of you probably already figured out that video is next. Video is a much greater challenge, of course, but with the speed at which AI is developing, I think it won't be long until also that is taking on. 
One day I'm confident we could just walk up to a TV and tell it to generate me a movie that Quentin Tarantino would direct with a plot similar to Death Note, featuring Wilson from Castaway, The DeLorean from Back to the Future, Derek Zoolander and Darth Vader. Thinking about this future is exciting, yes, but I admit it scared me a bit. Picasso said good artists copy and great artists steal. And Dali 2 is just that, the world's greatest stealing machine. And does this mean that it's an artist? In medieval times, books were prized and valuable possessions. They were carefully hand-copied by monks called amanuenses. And each monk was adding his own style and twist to the lettering. This was considered an art form, and these monks would dedicate their entire lives to this craft. But then suddenly, with the arrival of the Gutenberg printing press in 1440, this all changed overnight. This made the job of the amanuensis basically worthless, but at the same time it amplified the impact of the authors, those who actually come up with the words on the books. And this is what I see happening right now, with AI being the new printing press. I don't believe AI can replace the Kubricks, the Warhols, the Diablos, and I think the next generation of creatives who push the boundaries will use AI to their advantage, working hand in hand with it. They will use it for inspiration, to experiment and to help them distribute their work at scale. AI can evolve only as long as there is new data and information that it can absorb, and I think there will always be a tier of top creatives that will push the mediums forward and introduce new information in this loop. So human creativity would still be at the center. But what about the amanuensis? Maybe those people that are working in adapting or distributing content and may end up not adding enough creative value. Some of them will end up becoming authors, so that's great. But the majority of them will be masters or crafts that has lost most of its value. Now that AI can bring the cost of content manipulation to almost zero. For example, it's not so difficult to imagine a future where platforms like TikTok or YouTube don't just use AI to feed you the best content, but they use AI to create most of the content, with only a small number of people pushing the medium forward and introducing fresh ideas into the loop. And most of what you see is just sampling a remix of a few human good ideas. And as someone who's making videos here on YouTube and creating things, this is both exciting and also really scary. Dolly 2 gives us a visual glimpse into how artificial intelligence operates, but it is up to this generation of researchers and users to push it in the right direction. In 10 years time, we'll look back at this moment as one of the pivotal ones in tech history, and it's up to us to decide if this will be in a good or in a bad way.